Okay, so right here on the screen, we have free sign up, right? So it's 100% free option that we are going to be using in Zoho for this option. So just click on uh, free sign up up here. And then it asks you to add your account information, your email address. So you add your personal email address. You can use that to verify and then before you add your domain email. So after the account creation, this is where I found myself, right? So the account creation process, just like our own, uh, once you create your account, you find yourself here. You use the, we also have a free plan, try now. Okay, so when we click on that, it takes us to this place. We begin to choose or select option of what? Add existing domain. Add existing, which is your website you have purchased through Namecheap already. If you use Namecheap, right? If you use any other one, it's okay. Select add now. And then I have I purchased a domain to use for this example uh, right there. So we have this now. That's the domain. I just type only the domain, nothing else, no HTTPS, nothing on it. And then provide your organizational name. So I'm just going to use the same name that is on the domain, uh, Jewels store uh search us brand okay we have industry we select industry that is for e-commerce just select e-commerce look for retail e-commerce then hit add all right since congratulations your domain just added successfully proceed to domain verification click on that all right, so this process is copying and pasting. This is what I was saying about copying and pasting. So first thing here is to look through here. It says add txt name record. The word add or leave it as blank on your where? DNS. DNS record. Remember where you copied uh, the, when you are trying to do your, change your uh, dro dropper's domain, uh, subdomain to your own bot's domain, that place. Right, the same place, go there on your Namecheap account, which let me head there right now. So I'll copy this one first. I just hit this click to copy, click to copy, and then we hit back here. So I already have the environment open, which is why I took a little bit of time. I had to log into this. And then I scroll down right there. I have the domain. I hit manage on the domain right there. And then we come here and hit advanced. Again, we hit advanced. The same way you located it before when you were adding a record and www stuff just to add and change your a record for anybody who have not done this all right i mean it's the same thing right come under your domains whether you just purchased come under advanced and then add a record at then your droppers ip this is droppers ip copy this ip and paste here and then you save it you create another one, which is by hitting this add new record. You add a C name record and you add this, right? That's how to make sure that your domain changes from .droppers.com to your own website that you purchased. Just adding this is all. You go back to your Droppers account and um, change, remove the other the, uh, domain environment. Let me show you. I mean, this thing, we have done it. Remember, this is like repetition over again on this particular class and training. Equally, it is recorded. We come under membership, membership. And then you scroll down and then you hit add domain. This is what we are talking about. That's the IP address. It says for that to work, we need to create a, rec a record, a record. You copy this IP address, you come here. We have already created an A record. You add an at. You see, add new record, select A record and then add an art on it. And then you paste uh, under the value, you paste this IP address you copied here, you paste it there and then you save it. 
all right, the little bit of checkbox here, and then you, you create another one called CNAME record. This time you just type the www under the host, and then you hit under the value, type droppers.com, then you hit save, and that's all. Then you come here and hit next, and type your domain inside your droppers environment, type your domain, and then you can make it primary if you want, and then hit add, and that's all, you are done. By within 20, uh, the, within two hours, three hours, it will propagate. If it didn't propagate, send me email. I'm going to make it propagate immediately. All right. This time we don't want to. Do, that is not the training we are on. I'm just repeating something there uh, for somebody to say. I don't understand that, please. Okay. So, um, anyways, we have already allocated or found this particular environment, advanced, and then we are here. So it says we should create an txt name, txt, not a record for domain verification inside Zoho. So we have to come here and locate and click on add and choose to see if we can find txt here, right there, txt record. I select it and I type add here, like it says that I should do. Under the value, I paste what it says I should paste, which is right here, what it says I should copy. Destination, point, value, whatever they call it, copy it paste it here, leave it as automatic and save. Right there is done. And I come back and I hit verify. Sometimes it's not propagate immediately. It takes time sometimes. You can see it says you may wait up to 30 minutes uh, to one day. That's what it said. But let's click verify and see if it is there already. You see, not there yet. So it takes time to sometimes that moment that they talk about to verify. Um, other, other times, it's almost immediately, um, except there is something wrong with the spelling of the domain name. Uh, otherwise, it just works like that. Let's see. So I, I left this at automatic. I can do it like um, five minutes and save. So let's, let's let it be well, like five minutes. Let's see if it will be completely saved. TST record is done. Let's verify again. Done. Verified right there boom all right successful you are you are the sub super administrator of this organization create your domain based email all right so this is now where we type our domain based email you can see our domain is already automatically um accepted or seen because it's verified now i'm going to put support support at the website.com is already there no need to type at because it's already there you can see it right there i hit create says email already exists. You see that thing I did the other time. They have taken it and called it email already exists. That's one funny thing about uh, this platform, right? I mean, what I did the other time on the other account is what is trying to tell me that it's already ex it already exists. It's funny, right? Zoho, where I created that time. All right, um, let's just go back and see what we can do. Um, so I don't have to put support now. I can do customer care, customer care at, uh, which one, what do we do? All right. Let's say, what should we use admin? Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe we should use admin, admin, you know, customers sending me message on admin at, it does, it's not that it's, it's bad. It's not bad, but something that is relatable to them, to them. Customer care just too long too. Support is always the best. I just, I just, I just wasted that that uh, chance now. All right, let's use admin. Let's use admin. Then we we'll hit create. Hmm. Okay. Next step. Done. Right there. If I need to change the name, Rafael Paul, right up there, we need to change the name. Let's see if we can change that and hit edit here, edit. And then under name, we wanna change the name to uh, change password, change login details, change name, uh, mail settings, storage, security, mail settings, personal information. Um, okay, let's edit from here. All right, so let's change the name. Sorry, my PC, I didn't plug it. Still not off. Let me put it here. All right, it's been working since without chat. All right, uh, so I'm going to put JWell. I think that was the JWell store, JWell brand. Uh, 
let's call it G Wells brand and then nickname G Well brand. Okay, save. Okay, done, 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 done. That is done. Let's go back here. Uh, G Wells brand right there. So if you want to add an avatar, an image, right? You saw you saw that, right? Like your logo, you can add it here by uploading a logo here. Your choice. Because that's what your customers will be seeing when they receive emails from you. By the way, it's beautiful. All right, uh, we need to move to the next step uh, by coming here under proceed to set up groups. We don't need groups at all. We don't need to create any groups, so we skip that right there. So we just ignore this whole place and go to the next place. Proceed to, to DNS mapping. Hit next. Proceed to DNS mapping. We hit next. And then here we go to copy these things and paste one time and one one uh, one by one. Uh, right. So let's do that. Let's copy this and paste one by one. Now this class, well, it's recorded, right? It's recorded, absolutely recorded. So uh we've just copied mx record ms mx txt txt so just look what they want you to create that's the one that what you you create so they say record type mx so let's go ahead and look for mx record inside of um name chip and hit add new record right let's see on the on the uh let's just click add new record here Let's see if we can find MX record here. MX record. All right. We see we can't find that on this particular first one. So let's go under email. Let's see if we can find that under uh, email right here. Um, it already have uh, a TST record pointing to registrarservers.com. We don't even need that. Maybe we'll remove that later. But let's look at the email settings. Let's click on here. And then we select MXE. All right, that's what they have here. There's custom MX, right? I think the custom MX will be the possible best for name chip, right? Custom MX, right there. Custom MX. So this is very important. Locate the mail mail settings, right? You can see what we did initially. We're able to find the other one here. That is that's TST record. We we'll always find TST record here. But on that, when it comes to MX record, you, you look for mail settings so we select that and we hit custom mx right there then we add add our at or whatever they say we should put look at that it says at post is at so let's type that up right there at and then mail uh, value is right here we copy it and then we enter priority priority is 10 priority 10. now we Maybe I'll select five minutes again, all right? And then we save changes. Done. You can see now it's now created an option for us to create add new record. Like just like the other up, upper one, okay? We now have add new record here. So I'm gonna click add new record again. We are gonna put add again, which is up there. And then MX2 right there. Let me just copy it from here. MX2.zoho.com, we'll paste it here. And then we'll put priority 20. Is that what it is? Priority 20 right there. Okay. So, and then we select five again, five minutes, and we set, we'll save. Right. Okay. 13 is the same MX record, add, and then we we'll copy this. But instead of 20, is 50. So now we'll come here, add here, and then we we'll hit uh, add. we we'll paste what we copied. 55 and save. All right. They say we should do one more thing here. TXT record it says view SPF value. So I click on that to view the value. That's the value right there. So it says I should do either this or this, that they will all work. Um, so the point is, the reason for this is that if you already have these things already there from another type of email marketing software or stuff like that inside there. So that is why they have the second option for you to do. Otherwise, just let's take the first one. If it didn't work, we'll come back for the second one. So they ask us to add TST record. Come here, 
put here txt txt we type our ads we put our value that we copied and then we select five minutes and then we save all right um we we'll come back here again we we'll hit okay on this one by the way we we'll come back here again then there's one more txt record and that'll be all for this particular side all right we'll copy the first one now you can see it, is, it didn't ask us to add art this time on this part right it, ask us, it asked us to actually copy something it's called zmail dot underscore domain key uh, key so let's uh, add that txt record is that what it is right there boom txt record txt we paste what we copied we head back and copy the second one that has a very long key stuff copy it whatever they wrote there whatever they did there doesn't consign us we just have to copy and paste and then save all right now we are done let's go and save and see if it will give us error or no errors let's save verify says dns records may take a while depending on blah 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 reflecting your domain you can take check back later so it's not done yet none of them is even all of them are still showing red 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 all right let's verify again boom one two three four is done remaining one to go the last one txt let's verify again still remaining one to go done done successful data migration we don't want to migrate any data so what this means is that you want you already have an email uh account with zoho and emails there and you want to transfer that email information to this your new one you don't want to do that so just hit proceed to uh go mobile so here is they want to tell you to download their email application for phone and stuff like that right I have it on my phone. It's a very, in fact, it's, it's far better than Gmail. Far, far better than Gmail. This is my own Zoho Mail, right? Zoho Mail. So you don't want to be wasting time. You don't want to be wasting time when customers send you mail for you to see it or not to see it, right? So like, like um, this, all my team that is supporting us on email have access to this. So once there is a new email that comes in from support at maybe the juice.com, support at droppers.com, team at droppers.com, etc. It comes in, they check the mail, and you get notification at the top of your phone. All right. Depend on how you set your notification on your phone, right? So it's very smooth, very easy to use, sweet. So download their, their application on Play Store if you're using Android or on, uh, um, or on uh, Apple Store if you're using iPhone, right? Okay, so I just hit proceed to set up completion. Right there, we are done.